My name is Francis Wilson. I was born and raised in the Couchin Valley on uh, Cole Cooks Isla Reservation. The panels behind us we have right here are, this is our cedar, uh, this is a yellow cedar laminated paddle and uh, we have, um, it goes uh, an inch and a half, starts off in an inch and a half um, block. We laminate together, laminate together with uh, a wood glue um, and then they get shaved, shaved down with a hand planer, a grinder, um, depending on how, how much time I have. And then um, they get shaped down to a traditional, um, tr traditional design. This was designed by a Camosun College student named Kevin. Kevin Johnson designed this paddle, and that's what we have here. And this has uh, got a, a wood stain finish and a varnish for protection. And this would be a finished paddle that would be able to use in a, an actual canoe race. The knowledge that I have um, was passed down for me by my father. Um, growing up, like I, I've shared before, like I've shared with my siblings that, and my, you know, my spouse that uh, that it's that it's uh, what how I was raised and what my my upbringing was like was the 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 teachings and up and the, the traditional protocols that I follow. Are for are for the next person. So, being able to share 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 my experience, strength, and knowledge um, gives me hope that there is a there is um, there is hope for the next generation. My name is Larry Underwood, and my family on my father's side, my dad's side, is from the Wasanich territories and the reserve we grew up on is Sayout. And my mom's side of the family is Stola. Uh, which is in the Fraser Valley area, and her reserve is Matsqui. So I have very close ties and uh, relationships with, with both sides of the family, and I'm quite pleased to say that. Canoeing is uh, very, it was our main, that's how we got around. That was our main form of transportation before, you know, co uh, pre-colonization, and that was our, our waterways where our, our highways. So for us, when uh, in display or if it, it's always a show sign of peace, and these are the protocols that we used for approaching different shores that we we're visiting. So a sign of peace is when you're sitting in your canoe and you have your paddle and you're showing the, the community members that you come in peace by having your paddle uh, blade side up is what we call it. And it's it's just a show of that you're you're coming in peace. So we usually ask, you know, if they're going to display it. We have blade blade side up, or if you can have it, you know, just even even keel like this. Then, uh, but blade side down is a show of war, or so you're kind of welcoming that conflict energy. So that's why I usually suggest, like, if I see a paddle like this, I'll I'll do what I can to move it because. I don't really want to welcome conflict energy all the time. So, but it's the the meaning or position is is for you're you're ready to move in the water. That means you're ready for battle. So that's that's where this kind of comes from because these were um, not just used for you know moving water while we're in the paddle, but like you know you can there's used as a blunt force object basically for conflicts, physical conflicts. That's why we have bleed side up, welcome, calming energy, peaceful energy. Uh, my name is Susan Wilson. I'm from Couchin Tribes on my dad's side. Um, my mom is from Sartlip, um, but I grew up here in the greater Victoria, South Island, um, most of my life. What I've taken away from the paddle project is um, a faith and hope that our, our culture is still there and there's still um, youth that want to to learn and work together. For me, I hope the message that um, the president sees when he's ha have them on the wall, uh, I did say it. I, I told him, I said, it's once these are on the wall, it's up to him to hold his leadership accountable to truth and reconciliation and calls for action.